Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away, and this is strange isn't it? I brought back a model that we built from the past. Uh, this is the Build the Model Solar System. If you didn't see me actually building this, I've got the playlist up here, and I've also put a QR code on the screen where you can actually get this from, but well, it's actually an add-on for it, and that's why I brought it back into the workshop to show you these amazing four hardback books that we can get. And also, this is amazing, changing all the planets of this orrery out for gemstones. Now I didn't even know any of this exists, so I wanted to show you it here because I am going to be installing the new planets on the orrery. Now since I completed the orrery, it has been sitting in the house, but as Christmas is coming, there's going to be lots of family, there's going to be no room on the centrepiece at the table here. So I've had a quick move around in the workshop and I've created space where the Millennium Falcon was up there uh, for the orrery to go. And if anyone's wondering where the Millennium Falcon is, it's behind me. So uh, it is still in here. As a matter of fact, if I go that way, there we go. It's, it's definitely still in here. Um, but this is now available to order from, again, the same folks who actually bought you Build the Model Solar System. So once again, I have put a code on the screen there. But let me show you the books and show you the gemstones and we'll get these installed. So these are what the four books look like. And this is a guide to the solar system. So there is four volumes in here. They're all hardback books and they're quite heavy. Let me just show you for each volume. So this is the first volume you get. So uh, I'm just going to have a flick through and show you some of the things that we've got in here. Look at the, the artwork and the pictures in here are absolutely amazing. Look, check that out. And I'll have a quick flick through. It's pretty much everything you need for the history of astronomy, auraries, all about the solar system, all about every planet, every planet satellite. It's basically the uh, oracle of anything space related. And as I said, that is spread over four volumes in these books. And again, looking just like that. So if you are a big fan of this sort of genre of education, then uh, this is gonna be right up your street. I absolutely love space. I'm actually stacking them on top of each other because I'm running out of space <laughs> to show you some of these. But again, this is the third volume. As you can see now these do come as i said in four volumes the fourth volume looks just like that so they're the hardback books let me show you how we're going to replace the uh planets that we've got on our orrery with gemstones and this is what they look like they all come in a presentation box there i'll just show you that on this camera here so let's get these open i'm going to compare some of the planets as i swap them out now they do come in a lovely felt line tray here. So when we do take some of the old planets out, we can still reuse this box to actually store the new planets in. So the first planet we're gonna be looking at, I've got a real extreme close up camera here is Jupiter looking like this. Now this is made out of picture Jasper and that looks like that. So I'm gonna be re re replacing Jupiter. This is the old painted one. I'm going to be replacing it with the one that has got the gemstone in. So I still need the moons. So it's just a case of swapping these over and then putting them back on the orrery. And then once again, I can just put Jupiter safely away in this box. Now I'm doing this in no order. So the next one I think I'm going to do is Saturn. Now Saturn looks like this, and this is a tiger's eye. <laughs> I love that. Now obviously we need the rings for that, and the rings do come with the moons on this section just here. So what I do is I put this through the spindle at the bottom and I'm ready to put that into place. Now, if I take Saturn off, that is what the original Saturn looked like. So I will keep that safe, but I'll put this on the orrery. Let's do our home planet. This is Earth and this is Lapis Lazuli looking like that. And again, if I just take off the original Earth, which looks like that, it does come with its moon, the old one, but I'm going to replace that with a gemstone. So I need to take off our moon, put that on. And that can go on the Ori. I will show you a complete ensemble of these when I've changed them over. Now I'm probably butchering the name of this, but this is Venus. This is Arabescato marble looking like that. Now it's hard to see because of the white balance, but this has got markings on it that look like a marble that you used to play with uh, back in school days there. 
But that's Venus, let's change that over. This here was the original Venus, so I'm swapping that out for the gemstone. So we're gonna swap that out with Mercury. So this is Mercury, this is a yellow jade, looking like that. And this is the original one that comes with the orrery. The next one I'm gonna be doing is Mars. That looks like this, that is a red agate. And again, this is the original Mars that came with the orrery that I'm swapping out. I do need its satellites, let's get them off. And there we go, that's how that's gonna look. Now this green one here is actually Ceres. So I'm gonna be replacing Ceres. Let me just show you what the original Ceres looked like. That looked just like that. So I'm gonna be replacing that one. I've got no particular order I'm doing in here, but seeing as we've done Ceres, let's do Eris. Now, Ceres was a green aventurine. Eris is a blue vine sodalite, looking like that. Now this one here is Pluto, and this is a Chinese unakite. Let me just uh, take Pluto off. That looks just like this here. And two more to do. We've got Uranus, looking like that. This is a lemon jade. And again, this is the original one here, which I'm just gonna swap out. You are gonna have to bend that moon slightly to get that one out. And then I can just bend it back to put the satellite in. And finally, the last planet to do is Neptune. This is the original Neptune. And the gemstone we've got is turquoise looking just like that. So all my old planets are in there, stored safely. All my new ones are on there. Let me show you what that looks like. This is the Uniformation GK2 8K resin printer. This is a revolutionary printer that boasts a large build plate, heated vat reservoir, technologically advanced build plate, and its durable design with the flip top lid makes this the perfect addition to your workshop. This Black Friday, you can get $140 off the price of this printer, and if you choose to buy this as a package with the wash station and curing station, you can get $230 off. This offer is available right now. See video description for details. But there you go, that's the full orrery. And remember on that site, you can order this as the Baker's Basic Package, and then you can upgrade to the hardback books and the gemstones, just like I've done here. This is gonna be a regular thing in the workshop now. But I really hope you like that video. I enjoy putting them in. I just find this thing hypnotic every time I look at it. It's like watching a lava lamp, it's great. Uh, all the planets turn, obviously. Some of them really, really slowly because obviously how far they are and the gear system here. Sometimes I've left this on all day and we've had like Eris over here move just from here to probably about here. So <laughs> it does move, but it is quite an impressive uh, little piece of engineering there. But I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.